you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to create AP groups using the Unleashed mobile app. Access point groups can be used to define configuration options and apply them to groups of APs at once without having to modify each AP settings individually. This allows the administrator greater network control. For each group, administrators can create a configuration profile that defines the channels, radio settings, Ethernet ports, and other configurable fields for all members of the group or for all APs of a specific model in the group. By default, all APs are members of the system default AP group. AP group configuration settings can be overridden by individual AP settings. For example, if you want to set the transmit power to a lower setting for only a few specific APs, leave the transmit power adjustment at auto in the system default AP group and then go to the individual AP configuration page and set the transmit power settings to a lower settings. So here we see the Unleashed mobile app dashboard. It shows that we have a total of two WLANs, so I'm going to tap on the APs. And as you can see, we have three APs. All of these are in the default group. So to create a separate group, I'll tap on the three bars in the upper right, and I'll tap on AP group. So first, I'm going to put in the AP group name. So I'm going to call it the Art Studio. Next, I would select the APs to be in the group. So I'm going to tick the box. This is the RF510 Art Studio Mesh. Next is to select the WLANs that will be in the group. We have two WLANs, so I'm only going to allow the Art Studio WLAN to be in that group. And then we have our radio settings. So if we tap on that, here we have radio settings for the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz radios. Under the 2.4, I can tick which radio channels I want to use. By default, they're all selected. Under channelization, it's auto, but I could put it at 20 or 40 megahertz. So, for example, if I had a higher bandwidth device out there on this WLAN, I might want to pick 40 megahertz. I'll select auto. So we have all of our channels by auto, or I could select those. The transmit power is set at auto. could set that at some other level if I wanted to. So I'll leave that as it is. We have 11 and only mode, and if I tap on that, that would force all 11802.11n and 11ac APs to accept only 802.11n and AC compliant devices on the 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz radio. Call assistance is off. That could be turned on at a certain percentage. WLAN service is enabled by default, but that could be turned off. And protection mode is RTS slash TS. We could set that as CTS only or none. So we'll leave the defaults on that. If I tap on the 5 gigahertz radios, you'll see that it's very similar. We have our radio channels. We can pick which ones we want. And then we can do channelization. You can pick which ones we want for that. Transmit power, similar to what we had before. 11N or 11AC only mode or auto. Call administration and WAN access. Okay. So then to create the WLAN, I would press on create. And it says the AP group was created successfully. And then we can click on OK. And here we see our Art Studio group. And you can see that it shows the AP that is in there. So if I go back to the main menu, now if I look at the main menu and I look at my APs, you'll see that we have an AP view and we have a group view. If you remember, that wasn't there when we started out. So under the AP view, which shows all of the APs that I have, and then if I tap on group view, that shows a particular group. In this case, we have one group, and that is the Art Studio. If I wanted to edit that, I could tap on that, and I could tap on the pencil in the upper left. So if I wanted to go back and select more APs, or if I wanted to select different WLANs, or if I wanted to change my radio settings, I could do that. So I'm going to cancel on that. The trash can in the middle will delete it. The arrow on the right will refresh the screen. So, for example, if I wanted to delete this, I could tap on the trash can, and it says, are you sure you want to delete the AP group Art Studio? And if I want to do that, I would go ahead and press on OK. And it says the AP group was deleted successfully. So, as you can see, creating AP groups using the Unleashed mobile app is a very easy process.